they were, <coughs> were also remembrance in Charles Luanga and companions. And let us see what uh, uh, how much it tells us here. I don't not quite familiar. Charles Luanga and twenty one Ugandan companions. Twenty one. Uh, and died on November 15, 18, um, 1885, or between that date and January 27, 1887. Uh, Proto Martyrs of Black Africa. Over 100 killed in this period, including Anglicans. Charles is the patron <coughs> saint of African Catholic Youth Action. I remember that that uh, Paul Paul the uh, canonized them, and then he also mentioned was very clear in, my, in mentioning <coughs> not only these uh, martyrs but also the Anglican martyrs. And every time uh, at the end of the uh, 1999, the year 2000, with the Jubilee year, also they tried to compile a, a list of many. Uh, martyrs for this the whole century, and also where they were included as well, the uh, the Anglican martyrs as well. So there's something to that as well. Uh, <coughs> the I wish I knew a little bit more about the uh, in Uganda and uh, the uh, all these martyrs, but uh, but I think uh, also uh, Paul the Sixth remember saying, look, for the first time after many, many years, because we used to celebrate the many African saints. You have uh, Felicity and Perpetua, who were African. I think St. Agatha was also. And he is in above all, the greatest of them all, St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. So it opens up to our universality and to also reflect that uh, martyrdom any kind of martyrdom it is the supreme gift of one's life for the Lord and is the highest, how would you say, gift or grace that a person can receive. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and this is why in, you know, we, we always use the phrase, the, the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. Mm -hmm. And how true that is. So let us then continue in celebrating the Eucharist, and of course we have the main seed for all Christians, the blood of Christ, that we celebrate in the Eucharist. So let us then continue.